All right, it is 11 o'clock. Everyone, welcome to the Power Half Hour. Uh, today we have a very special guest, um, one of my oldest friends from the Mike Perry organization, one of my first mastermind yeah. cohorts. Uh, she's taught me everything about uh, the in and outs of uh, MFO, and I finally was immersed in the culture. I guess what, like five years into the coaching, I wasn't taking advantage of the coaching structure, and you taught me everything. I'm forever grateful for that. And we had such a, a, a solid, solid group, and everybody's gone on to do like really, really great things, which is uh, amazing to see. And uh, so Melissa Mashad, she sells real estate out of Las Vegas. Hi. She's a team leader and a top agent, and she's also a transformational coach. So what that means is she's utilizing the power of NLP to coach her uh, coaching clients, real, real estate agents mainly, right? For right now, it's real estate agents mainly, but I've actually had non-real estate as well. So that's kind of the cool part is it's, it's, it's a different kind of coaching. <laughs> so I'll nice. get into that more. <laughs> nice. Well, without further ado, our special guest, Melissa Machat. Thank you again for coming. Of course. Thank you for having me. I love it. And I just realized like that mastermind group, we started that it was January of 2013. See, see how far we've come. I mean, yes. I, was, uh, I, I didn't even know what to do in real estate until uh, I really got to a higher level, you know, masterminding, um, surrounding yourself with powerful people. I was all alone until then. So there's a power of being, a ma being in a mastermind for sure. And what's funny, real fast about that, I just remember, remembered, is it was supposed to be like the young, upcoming superstars of like MFO. And so there was a rule that you had to be like under 30 or something. And I'm just laughing because now I'm like, we've, you know, we're so far past that point in our lives that we had to keep like raising the age minimum because we kept, you know, we would have all been kicked out eventually. So I just well, yeah. that we were I so would... young when that started. <laughs> I think I think I had to kick myself out at 35, right? It, it was yeah, we, and then we raised it up to 40 when when uh, anyway, yeah. So I think yeah. we ultimately raised it up to 40. So. Yeah, we're we're old now. <laughs> we're old. Not you, my myself. I'm sorry. No, it's but anyway. We're up there. <laughs> anyway, moving on. But yeah, that's that just shows how much time has passed, and it is amazing to see where we are today, which yeah. for all of us. For sure, for sure. So today we're going to talk a little bit about um, you know really what you're doing, how you're coaching your real estate uh, coaching clients with NLP and how do you get them to break through uh, their limiting beliefs and using the, uh, um, uh, using the subconscious mind to really drill into it and, and to take action where you normally wouldn't take your normal action. So tell us a little bit about um, NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. Yes. So you all have heard of it, I'm sure at some point, if you haven't, it's in our scripts as real estate agents. So NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, it really is the language of your mind. And what I found so fascinating is that I had only heard about it from the real estate space with scripts, embedded commands. What would work better for you Monday or Tuesday at four? You do want to hire a powerful agent like myself, don't you? Mm -hmm. Like that's all NLP language. Uh, it's very linguistic, like heavy. And what's fascinating is I didn't realize there was so much more to NLP in relation to actually, it's almost like reprogramming your, the language of your mind, your thoughts, uh, which affect your behavior and your actions. So as real estate agents, we think like, and I, I saw a comment earlier, it's like, I thought I was going to the training to learn how to be like a script ninja master and be able mm -hmm. to convince people to do things and that's that's one piece of it and at the same time that's not that's not even it's like such a small piece of what that is so when i started to be exposed to it and really learning it on the transformational side it completely changed my life because you're working at a deeper unconscious level and if everybody knows like you have a conscious mind and an unconscious mind and i'll go into a little bit more but just know that that the unconscious is where it's really in control. And if you don't know that and you don't realize it and you don't know how to kind of get that to work in your favor, it can be self-sabotage, feeling like mm -hmm. a failure, 
why am I not doing what I say I'm going to do? It could be just like, this isn't working. Something doesn't feel right. I say I want this, but I'm not actually taking action. What's wrong with me? And then as real estate agents, we're like, oh, I must not be motivated or disciplined. I need more accountability. I need more pain if I don't do my job. You got to force me. I got to force it. And then it just, it starts a downward spiral. I don't know if anyone can relate to that where you're like, like that's what happened to me at least. I felt like such a failure because I was like falling short of my 20 contacts a day. Or I said I had all these big goals, but I, I keep falling short in self-sabotaging, which made me feel like I must not be good enough. I'm not, you know, I must not be meant to do this. So anyone relate? I, I see some of your faces. For sure. For sure. <laughs> I mean, I, I can relate. And there, there are so many times where um, I know what to do and then, you know, you, you don't do it and then you feel bad about it and then it just keeps, there's a vicious cycle, right? And then, and then, like you said, it's like, okay, well, let me pay you 500 bucks if I don't do this. Yeah. And then you, you, you do it and you're like, you, you feel like you're, you're grinding yourself to death when you do that. And then when you miss it, you pay the 500 bucks. So it's like a it's, vicious it's cycle downwards. Yes. And then no matter what, if you think about that, no matter what, it's like a lose-lose situation. I'm either going to force myself to do something that I'm trying to avoid, or I owe somebody money. If I do it, okay, at least I did it, but you don't feel good about it usually because it's like a forced thing um, because you're avoiding pain. If you don't do it, okay, now someone else just, you know, got, they had to cash a check or whatever crazy accountability you put in place. And now you beat yourself up because it's like, I can't believe I did that. I allowed that to happen. That's so ridiculous. So you're just reinforcing all these negative thoughts that are actually going through your head. And this is what's really fascinating about it all is your subconscious is listening to everything you are telling mm -hmm. yourself. So when you tell yourself, I'm such a F up, I'm such a failure. I can't believe I did that. What's wrong with me? Why am I not more motivated? you you're internally like listening to that and then guess what it's going to prove to you that you're right because your brain like you have to be it always proves that you're right so if you're if yeah. you say you're not motivated you're going to start having behaviors showing yourself you're not motivated so guys the inner voice that uh is going on right here you got to be careful with that too because you're actually programming your mind through language um, in, in, in landmark, you know, which is what I take it, it's it, nothing exists without language, right? It, it, everything is just what is. And then with language, you create it. Now, the deeper level of that is the, the, the subconscious mind. You're actually in, in the inner voice right here. You're creating your reality in here based on what you see. And then you don't even know you're creating it. Correct. So I mean, how, how do you coach your clients mm -hmm. to kind of get out of that? How do you become aware of that? Yeah. So, so absolutely, you're correct. Until we label it, until we assign it meaning, until we create whatever that is. And by the way, we usually tie it from past experiences. This happened once, therefore that means this is going to happen again because, you know, someone hung up on me once. So now everyone's going to hang up on me when I call. So the other thing that I found really interesting is that they say like, oh, when I see it, I'll believe it, right? Mm -hmm. Like I need to see it. So I believe it. And it's actually the other way around. When you believe it, you see it. So when you believe something about yourself, about the way things are, it literally creates that reality around you so that you see it. And so I never knew this, right? I was going through real estate coaching, you name it, thinking I need to do more. I need to, you know, prove something. I want to do 50 deals to prove I'm a superstar. I got really upset when they started saying, no, 75 deals means you're a superstar, <laughs> not 50. I'm like, don't raise the bar on me. Like I'm barely getting to 50, like, come on, you know? And, um, yeah, my behavior wasn't really lining up to that. So, so positive affirmations, by the way, when they say like, just be positive, it doesn't matter because if you say, I am a great salesperson, I make a million dollars, whatever. But if you don't believe it, you're actually creating inner conflict because now it's like, I said it, but I don't, like, it's not really true. Right. So, yeah. so people get stuck because they think just being positive and just, you know, positive affirmations and, 
that's that's not necessarily dealing with the root. And so you asked like what I do in my my coaching, it's 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 going deeper. It's going to the root cause subconsciously, you may not even be aware of it, and figuring out what is it that is actually, and I talk about alignment and clarity a lot. Um, what's actually out of alignment? What is Mm -hmm. not lining up to like who you are as a person? So Uh. it's not, I said, I want this and I just need to go take action and make it happen. I'm like, hold on a second. You didn't take action. Let's figure out why. why. Let's figure out what belief is there that is actually stopping you. Um, And I know we don't have a lot of time, but this gets like super fascinating I say fascinating a lot it's so fascinating to me because your values like who you are as a person it's literally like your purpose who you are what you do what you spend money your money on what you spend your time doing what's important to you if your values are not in alignment with what you say you want or there's a conflict and I'll explain more in a moment um you're not going to take action so basically, so, people are fighting themselves, um, the, the yep. outer mind versus the inner mind. They're not, they're not in sync. That's why they don't take the actions they take. Um, I want to touch a little bit more on the belief part because a lot yeah. of real estate agents, you know, we all do affirmations. I mean, I do them every day. I, today is a great day, you know. I'm a great salesperson. I'm a great salesperson. You are a great salesperson. But if you don't believe it here, it doesn't right. matter. So how do you get people to work on that belief in themselves? So this is where usually it's asking more questions. It's, it's creating like that future you truly want, but making sure it's not coming from a negative filter. So what I mean by that is if you say you want to sell 50 homes or you want to make a certain amount of money, why? What's, what's the real reason underneath it? Because if it's to prove something, if it's to show someone that I can do it and I'm going to prove them wrong, that's usually, I'm not saying don't have like a chip on your shoulder, like adversity is our greatest motivator, right? So I'm not saying like, that's a bad thing. I'm not labeling it. It's just, what is that? Because for me, and it was fascinating because Matthew Ferry actually called me out on this. He said, mm. um, you know, you said you, you say you want to do 50 deals. Like, no, you don't. You don't even like selling real estate. Like, you just want to prove something to fit mm. in and feel like you belong in this group. And I fought him. I was like, that's no, that's no way. I remember that. True. You remember, I remember it. that. Like, were, I was fighting it. It like, was years. Yes. It was a long time. And, and I literally had this moment where I was like, oh my gosh, I'm completely miserable. This isn't really what I want to do. I said I wanted 50 deals. I didn't even calculate correctly what that income goal was. So my income goal and my transaction goal didn't even add up. Mm. Um, Like I was so going after the wrong thing for the wrong reason. It wasn't what I really wanted. Um, So when it comes back to beliefs, there are Uh, So I do just throw it out there. I do sessions where it's not necessarily like long-term coaching, but like I've had sessions with people where we just dig into the limiting belief. What Mm -hmm. is it that is truly holding you back? It's usually we do something in NLP called breakthrough sessions. Um, It's like a seven to 10 hour process. And half of it is digging into the root cause that is causing your reality. Usually it has to do with worthiness. It has to do with something that happened when we were younger. It has to do with um, beliefs we grew up with about money, um, about success, what you can achieve. Um, So, you know, I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy. I don't deserve this. Um, Like love, right? Like, am I lovable? I mean, it's deep stuff that people, Mm -hmm. people think it's like, like I've had someone tell me like, Oh, I'm just afraid of rejection. I was like, no, it's not it. Let's dig a little bit. And it had nothing to do with rejection. It had everything to do with, you know, worthiness, good enough, um, trying to prove someone right who told someone they couldn't do it. Uh, Just crazy stuff. Very interesting stuff because, you know, I I just think, I, or I thought neurolinguistic programming, NLP is just about, um, programming your life through language, but it's, it's, it's actually uh, peeling the layers back until you get to the core. 
And that's yeah. what I'm hearing that it really is. I'm still like, I'm, I'm like you said, fascinated about it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's, let's go into the four steps. Now, like people on the call, mostly real estate agents, we have all the information available. You can Google how to list real estate. You can Google how to work with a buyer. You can Google all the scripts that you can. We know all the information. And why do we not take the action we know to take in order to get you to break through to your next level? Uh, okay. This is my favorite, favorite topic. Because what I want to start with, I will give you four, four actionable items that you can start practicing with. Because it's, it's not as simple as like, uh, you know, just do more. Just how bad do you want it? Let's just get really mm -hmm. clear on your motivation. Like, has anybody here set a New Year's resolution and like didn't fall, follow through? All of us. Has anyone ever set a goal and you didn't do it? So if it was, yeah, literally every hand is going up. So if it was as simple as like, well, I just must not have wanted it bad enough or, you know, I just needed more accountability, then like we would all be hitting everything we say we want. Yes. Uh, so I would love to just take a moment and explain something on the whole conscious, subconscious, just to kind of get you guys to see things a little bit differently. Sure. Um, so setting goals, New Year's resolutions, you know, I'm going to do this, I'm going to work harder, I'm going to, I want to make X amount of money, I want this. Those are actually conscious uh, choices consciously we are that's where you set your goals your desire your method i'm gonna door knock x amount of days i'm gonna make so many calls like those are all con we can all agree those are all conscious decisions right yeah. right so so that's 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 up like you know tip of an iceberg that's like the tip of the iceberg you actually see conscious decisions underneath the surface is your unconscious or subconscious mind in this case it's the same i'm using it interchangeably that's where your beliefs, your values, your self-talk, your perceptions, your attitude, everything that's happening, that inner voice that can be really mean, by the way, right? Like that, that voice we say to ourselves, if we ever said out loud what we say to ourselves, people would be like, wow, that's, you're hardcore. Like that's really mean. And, mm -hmm. and we don't catch it because it just, it's happening in the background. We don't even, right. we don't even realize it. Well, your action, your behavior, your habits are subconscious. Mm. But no one teaches us that. So we think we're going to set a goal and we're just going to go get it. And then our behavior is like, no, no, you're not. <laughs> no. I don't feel like it. I don't want to <laughs> do it. I don't want to. It's cold out. I'm tired. You said you're going to, you, you 4.30 a.m. gym people, you know, I'm like, <laughs> what? Okay. I mean, good for you. If you do it, that's Awesome. But like my, my inner voice is like, oh, hell no, I'm not doing that. Mm -mm. I don't care how much accountability force on me. I wouldn't be like, no, thank you. Right. So at some point we're like, you can force yourself as much as you want, but there are, there are limitations where you're going to be like, uh, okay, that's crossing a line. So what I want you all to, to think about is your conscious tip of the iceberg is the goal setter. That's where you set goals, right? That's your like, okay, I'm going to set the GPS. Here's where I'm going to go. And I'm going to go get it. Your unconscious mind is actually the goal getter mm. your behavior, your action, whether you do something, whether you don't do something. So when I talk about alignment, if your conscious and subconscious are in alignment, that means you say you're going to do something and, and you, you do, do it. it. Mm. If you Say you're going to do something and you don't do it, there's actually something beneath the surface that is preventing you from taking that action. So, <laughs> so it's all about what I'm hearing you say is it's, a, it's about alignment between the subconscious and the conscious. Yeah. Now, how do we know when it is aligned then? You do what you say you're going to do. Okay. <laughs> and you, and you honestly, and you don't even really need accountability. Like, I know mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to say something that, that is real estate agents. It's like, what do you mean? I don't need it. Like, of course we need accountability. I'm saying that like, can you all think of something right now that you really, really wanted, whether it was physical health, whether it was business, whether it was family relationships, anything, it could be something, you know, 
it could be something uh, material, it could be something whatever. Can you all like think of something you really wanted in your life and you made it happen? Yeah, it could be getting a real estate license, it could be a car, it could be um, marriage. I've had some people where it's like getting out of marriage, right? Like whatever it is, like did you want something in your life and you made it happen? So uh, a question is, uh, why is it that my brain um, goes wild on the days I'm trying to make it more disciplined. Well, because you're trying to make something more disciplined, is it truly in alignment with who you are as a person and is it what you really want? So I think what that is, Nitsu, is, is it's you're out of alignment and you're grinding now. Yes. You're grinding against the you're flow. Forcing. You are you're forcing. forcing an outcome now. Okay. Yes. So that doesn't mean you sit back and you're just like, well, I don't feel like doing anything. So I must be out of alignment. I'm not going to do it. Like the point is you have to take what I call inspired action. Hmm. If you're in alignment with who you are, what you truly want, and you're dialed in and you're like, this fulfills me, right? Like this gives me energy. It fulfills me. You were inspired to go do something just like you made it happen the last time you really wanted something and you did it. You don't have to force it. You don't need someone threatening you. I'm going to cash a check or I've heard like people have to eat cat food. I mean, there's some crazy accountability out there, right? Forcing you to do things. To me, I look at it like you, and here's the thing. You can tie this so easily back into real estate with lead generation, Right? How many of us say, I'm going to pick up the phone, I don't want to do it, oh, just, I got distracted and I'm going to avoid it. To me, that's a lack of clarity on what it is you actually want and why you're doing it in the first place. Mm. If someone told you you should be making X amount of contacts per day on the phone, it should, it, I should be door knocking, I should be doing whatever, was that really what aligns with you? So, well, I mean, okay, I'm, I have a yeah, but like, listen, like, these are the things necessary, necessary actions to take as a real estate agent in order to get you to be successful making deals, making money, which is what you want, correct? <laughs> That's well, what the coach asked us. My question so, back would be, what does success actually mean to you? Mm, is anybody getting something from this? I mean, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's gold. That's gold. So, so yeah. yeah, here's the thing. If you told me I want to sell a hundred homes a year, okay, why? What's that going to do for you? What does that mean to you? What's important about it? How much money is that? What are you doing with the money? Like you have to connect the dots, right? Is it really about a hundred homes? Would you be happy at 80? Would you be happy at 50? By the way, there's something called like a financial thermostat where you're comfortable. That's usually where we plateau. So I would want to dig into, okay, like, what is it about that? That's so important to you. And if you're like someone like DK from last week, he is probably one of the most driven, you too, John, like dr driven, motivated, like, you know, it's, there's such a, a passion. It's like not even a question for him or you, right? It's, it's like, but is that normal for everybody? Is everybody like, I'm going to do whatever it takes to hit 100 or 150? Maybe not. And that's okay. Does that mean you're, you're not successful? Mm. Like, like, what does success mean to you? Success might mean to you, like, having X amount. Like, I, depending where you live in the country, $100,000 could be a lot of money. It could be, like, not enough money, Right. Somewhere like Las Vegas, making $100,000 a year, like net income is a ton of money. You can, mm. you can have an incredible life. So do you really need a million dollars or is like 250 pretty much putting you in the top 1% in the country? Is it really about the million dollars or is the million dollars like just proving I'm good enough to make a million dollars? But like if I made 500, I'd be pretty set for life and like live an amazing, amazing existence, do everything I want. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I coach a lot of agents and I was, you know, as you know, my very coach and we always ask, okay, 
you know, how many deals you want and then how much income you want to make from that. And then I would do it like very logically. Okay, well, this is your monthly expenses. Here's the money that's extra. What are you going to do with the money? Is that what is my homework for them? But yeah. I don't drill down on the, well, why do you want that? Yeah. Well, what's here's, your, here's, oh, go ahead. Mike would always say, what's your why? But Mike. <laughs> <laughs> So one of the things that people say all the time is like, oh, well, my why just must not be big enough. I think that is like the rudest, most insulting thing you could ever say. Like, oh, I just must not be driven. I'm just mm -hmm. not motivated enough. I'm just, you know, I must not want it bad enough. So I'm going to, you know, no, it's, it's, it's literally figuring out your values. Like who you are is a person, what fulfills you. I see in the comments, like what gives you energy. So here's the difference. If you say to me, a hundred deals. This is why I have a big vision goal. Like no, no matter what I, I need to make this happen. And it's coming from like a true, a true, you know, in alignment place. Yeah. You might need to make 50 contacts a day. You might need to do whatever it takes to get there, but you're going to be inspired to do it. Like you're going to be like, I am doing this no matter what, because this aligns with me and what I want to make happen. I don't care what obstacle you heard DK. I don't care what challenges come in my way. Bring it. He even said, he was like, bring it, bring it on. And I was like, that's it. Mm. He, he doesn't even look at it like, it, uh, oh, but you know, I'm just not going to make it. He's like, screw that. I'm going to plow right through it. Right. Challenges are there to test us on how bad we want it. Challenges are there to test us on how, how bad do you want it, guys. So how bad do you want it? Is, and, and most and of us are like, well, I think I wanted it, but like, mm, if I didn't get it, <laughs> whatever. It's yeah, right I, <laughs> I always ask people, like, if you don't hit the goal, is it okay? Most like, people yeah, say, you know, I'll, I'll yeah. live. Yeah. I'll live. So My this is really is aligned with what, um, you know, Thatcher's always talking about this, the grind versus the align. Inspired yep. action versus forced action. So yes. this is actually NLP. What yes. are you talking about? 100%. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so I want to open it up to some, sorry, <laughs> go ahead. No, last thing I'll say about that really fast is I love what someone said um, in the chat, right? Like I feel demo demotivated doing cold calls, but I get passion from uh, live videos. So, so here's, here's my answer for most people. What gives you energy? What excites you? Mm. How do you envision building your business? If nobody told you how to do it, how do you, like, what excites you? Because for some, it is picking up the phone. For some, it's like, oh my God, I would never pick up the phone. But they get so caught up, like, I'm not picking up the phone. I can't pick up the phone. That's not, and I'm like, right. So, so tip number one is, what do you actually want? And I realize I need to still give the four tips. So let me give those really, really fast. So number one is basically um, what, what is causing me to feel this way? So if we just use a really generic, we're mostly real estate agents. By the way, this applies to anxiety. This applies to however you're feeling in life. Ask yourself these questions. So if we just want to keep it simple and I'm avoiding the phone. Okay. Has anyone ever avoided picking up the phone to call? I think. Yeah. So, um, so number one, what, what is causing me to feel this way? Is it fear of rejection? Is it, is it, I don't know what to say. Is it, um, someone hung up on me once and I don't want to get hung up again. Is it, I don't want to bother people. Like ask your, by the way, it's really fun when you ask yourself questions. Sometimes your subconscious just like answers them. And you're like, I don't know where that came from. It just came out. Mm. Listen to that. That's your unconscious mind. So when you say, ask yourself, what is causing me to feel this way? Number two, what outcome am I avoiding? Because for some of us, we know the phone works. And when we get overwhelmed or if we get really busy because it worked, picking up the phone actually means more chaos, more stress. It could, right? More, um, I know it sounds weird. If you don't have systems and the right leverage in place, it could absolutely create more problems um, if you don't have your, your stuff together behind the scenes, right? Mm. So, so what am I avoiding? Am I avoiding more business because I feel like I can't handle it? Am I avoiding um, feeling like an idiot because I don't know what I'm saying? Is it like, like, what is it? What am I avoiding? Number three is uh, the number one question, which most of us don't know the answer to because no one ever asks us this. What do you actually want? Mm. What do you want? 
Is it, I want more business because I do need to make money to pay my bills? Is it, I want to feel confident in what I'm saying and just not feel dumb? Is it, I want to feel um, like I'm helping people? I want to help people. I really, really want to help people. Like, what do you actually want? And then number four is, what is the first step to make it happen? Hmm. What is the first step to make it happen? We all have the answers. John said it earlier. There's no shortage of YouTube videos and coaching and seminars and classes and it's information overload. The problem is we think the problem is I'm just not motivated. So I'm going to go learn more about, you know, how to do more deals, but you didn't fix the inner root problem, which was mm -hmm. I'm actually afraid of like, I don't know what to say. Well, if you don't know what to say, and what you really want is to feel confident, then wouldn't role play or going to take training and education about scripts and what to say and practicing, could that be your first step to make it happen? Gotcha. Well, I think we just touched the tip <laughs> of the iceberg. There's just so much more I feel it's like so that there is to this. Um, so the four steps, guys, th there it is. Um, how do we get more from NLP and how do we reach yeah. you to get some coaching on this. Would love that. And I, I do offer specials, especially being associated with John and watching this. I offer specials for like a 90 minute session, a three hour session, the breakthroughs, the seven to 10 hour session. So this isn't like six months, a year. Like when you get at the root and you get subconscious, you literally can change things like that. Wow. It's only as fast as you are ready and willing and wanting to let it go or change it. Um, so just throwing that out there that this, this is, it completely transformed my life. Like John knows it. He saw me, what I was like before, what I'm like now it's that, that was quick. It wasn't years. Um, so the easiest way, Instagram, Melissa Machat, I'll put it in the chat box too. Um, I post stuff all the time, mindset, things like that, classes. Uh, usually this is like an hour and a half class, by the way, that I really try to condense and I just dropped a lot on you. So just give it time to process. There was a um, lot. There was definitely a lot. So thank yeah, you. And, and my website is at realigncoaching.com. Um, it's re aligncoaching.com. There's more info there, how to reach me, uh, what, what these sessions are. Um, but I would say YouTube as well. If you look for realign coaching, um, I have classes that I put up on there that dig deeper into this. And, uh, this is, it, this is why it's transformational, right? You don't have to live a life where you're forcing and pushing and feeling crappy all the time and like a failure. And it, it's not worth it. Life is short. We should actually be aligned to what makes us happy and what we actually want and i don't know why we just fo oh we focus on the negative so how do so who, who's who wants to live an inspired life where they're aligned with their values and taking inspired action only put your hands up well i am inspired thank you for today um we'll push, put all the uh links in the comment section and let melissa help you get aligned yeah if you have right, questions guys. let me know right like it's 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 a fun process. It's part of the journey. And, and just, that's what I would ask you is, is pay attention. Where are you, where are you not having what you want or not doing what you say? What area of life is that coming up for you? And just take yourself through those questions and see what comes up. I've seen your transformation. It was years of struggle and all of a sudden, bam, you know, that there you are, you're like fully self-expressed and, you know, just, just on your way. And, and I couldn't be happier seeing that for you. Thank you for being on today. Congratulations on all your success. Everyone have a great day. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye.